is going on today guys? Welcome back. Getting this video started here with official Greg A weather report of today. I finally feel like it's nice enough to do one of these things. The spring is finally here. The sun is out. The sun is shining. We cut our grass. Uh, not very well, by the way. You did a little uh, squiggly zigzag there. Uh, they're not completely straight yet, but the first cut is finally done. Uh, this weekend schedule, quite a bit, quite a bit all over the place. Uh, not a whole lot of truck work going on. I started cutting the grass, picking up sticks. You guys know this side of my grass is always completely wet. You guys will remember hearing me say that, but you can kind of see some dead trees back yonder. And there was a tree right here. There was another tree. There was another tree. Well, I started picking up sticks and there was like a tree, pretty big tree that fell. So yesterday, me and my dad spent almost all day cutting, sawing, limbing, picking up. Oh, it was yard work is definitely Greg's least favorite thing to do ever. But uh, I know the schedule's been a little bit all over the place. We've really just been trying to stay home. Give me some slack. I know we haven't got a whole lot of shop work done, truck work, uh, wrenching in the garage. I know, but you guys know my wife's pregnant and we got to stay home. So cut me just cut me just a little bit of slack. So uh, the next couple videos uh, will be a little bit more informative. I do want to do a Q&A. So if you guys have any Q&A questions, uh, that might be the next or the following video video, but leave them in this video for me to answer in an upcoming video. So make sure you guys do that. Um, what else? What else? A couple big questions that I've been getting asked very frequently is about the call out challenge and UCC. And let me just clear that up one quick second. And it really depends on uh, when baby A comes, if it comes maybe today. Oh, by the way, I guess that, that the baby hasn't come yet. The baby's not, the baby's not here yet. So um, if it comes within the next day or maybe tomorrow, I will make the call out challenge. That's gonna really be dependent on that situation. UCC, locked in, done. I'm gonna be at UCC. I'll give you guys more details, but we are gonna be at UCC. So, uh, second thing that I've been getting asked nonstop, emailed about, is about the rods and pistons out of the old race engine uh, that we launched Friday, 11 o'clock. When we launched the Wrenchworks Spring Launch Giveaway, by the way, Wrenchworks Spring Launch Giveaway still going on. Uh, cash, air dogs, still going on. Go to wrenchworks.com, go check that stuff out. But anyway, uh, Friday, 11 o'clock. If you guys clicked online at 11.01, they were already gone. They were gone in about 45 seconds. That's why you guys never saw them. Um, they were already gone. There was, there was, you know, five pistons, five rods, already completely gone. So congratulations to those of you guys who got some of that stuff. Um, all of Friday's orders um, are out uh, besides the shop shirt stuff. By the way, guys, by the way, <clears throat> let me just clear something up real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you guys know uh, I do not plug my brand except for when we have like a spring launch, a giveaway going on. You know, I tend to mention it a little bit. After that's done, after we're done with that stuff, you guys know that I don't, you know, announce it in the beginning of every single video. So cut me another little break there. You know, it's something that I love, I'm passionate about, um, and something that's part of my life and part of this channel. So anyway, that's it. If you guys haven't heard already, go watch this video over here somewhere. Go watch that video, um, find out all about that stuff. But anyway, let's get to the topic of today's video. I know some of that back end stuff we gotta get through. Um, but again, no baby yet, it's coming very, very soon. Already on to today's topic of this video is five things, three things, two things, I don't know, a couple things that I hate, maybe slash annoy me a little bit about my 2008-67 Cummins Ram. It's a 2500, it's not a 3500. I get that question quite a bit. Uh, Six-speed manual truck here. Uh, there are a couple things that annoy me a little bit. And by the way, I do love this truck. I, I'm not bragging on it one bit. I do love it. But there are some things that might be a little bit annoying that we're just gonna go over just a little bit here. Um, we washed it up yesterday. We spent uh, quite a bit of time cleaning it. I haven't cleaned it in probably six months throughout the winter. The Northeast is just crappy. You'd wash it. I use this truck for work every single day. So it gets cut no breaks as far as going on job sites. Our, our shop yard um, is not paved. So it, it, every day is, is a battle keeping this thing clean. Which brings me to my number one thing is that I also love but also hate is it's black. Black is my favorite color. All of my vehicles are black besides my wife's truck. But um, the black is just an absolute bear to keep clean. Um, it, it really is, and I will drive this thing one day, and it will not 
look anywhere near this good. So that's number one. Number two is kind of leading into the same thing. Um, and the number one reason why I hate washing any of my vehicles, especially after winter, is you find all of the imperfections in every single little spot. You can kind of see, you find all the new little scratches um, right here. Where was there? I think there were like cats trying to, I don't, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. There's like fine scratches there. I just, I just smudged up my, my nice wash job. Um, you know, the mirrors just get blasted with the wide wheels and tires. Um, the door handles, you know, inside here from people, you know, scratching them up. I know that I might, it might be a little glary today, guys. It's sun, the sun is finally here. So instead of no light, we now have too much light. But, um, you know, just, you know, from our exhaust coming loose, our tip is rubbed. I mean, there's just a lot of imperfections in this paint this this paint has really never been buffed wet sanded um, anything it really needs to have a professional hand to go over it but uh, there are you know paint chips there's no there's no dings or dents but you know this mirror is is really blasted um, you know it's it's just it's just little things like that we actually have a little spot on our tailgate here that looks like might need to have a little bit of attention. These tailgates are actually pretty cheap. I think you can pick them up for like a hundred bucks, but this seam right down in here, you can kind of see has seen a little bit better day. Next up on the list here, you guys know when we haul the trailer, when we go to races, when we go to events, usually we got a couple guys with us and we all try, try being the keyword to squeeze in one truck. Now with the third gen Rams, you guys know squeeze is no understatement. So I have my seat set and I'm kind of a taller guy where I would normally sit. And you guys can see how much leg room that we really uh, just do not have. The front, that seat could go up just a little bit, but uh, there really is just hardly any room in the back seat here. Now there's one one way we could solve that, that would be go by a fourth gen. But anyway, that is another thing. Definitely use more of, and that's back seat room. Normally when I'm using this for work, I usually have these flipped up because I usually flip out our tray here and use this stuff for work, putting stuff in the back. This one usually has my little, my little subwoofer here. But when I do actually have to use this, it's kind of, it's kind of eh, it's kind of eh. For the next thing, we need to go under the hood. So you guys know that I'm a huge, huge fan of the cowl hoods on these third gen trucks. I'm pretty sure I have a link down below if you guys want to check out these hoods. They are steel hoods. They're not fiberglass. Um, they're really nice. They're aftermarket. Some of them kind of fit and you kind of have a luck, luck of the draw of how well they get shipped and how well they fit. This one is kind of not all that great. I thought it fit good, but anyway, I got it painted. Anyway, anyway, has nothing to do with this hood. We used to have an SRT 10 hood. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen so you guys get what it looks like, but it had a little opening right about right here and it was open so with that being open and with me using this truck all year round um, and throughout the winter the salt and everything pretty much direct path right into the engine um, even more so than right through here uh, the opening in the hood right here was just a direct shot for everything even in the back so my next point is with that being in the hood and again, excuse the engine bay, it's not very clean here. Uh, it doesn't get cleaned like religiously, but it kind of gave, uh, you can kind of see our steed speed manifold has seen better days. And that's not because of the coating that was on there, really just because um, I really don't keep up on cleaning the engine bay very well. But it gave a little bit more rust slash oxidation a chance to kind of accumulate in here. So if I could turn back the time one more thing, I might even get a closed off piece for that SRT 10 hood um, for the winter time, at least definitely for the winter time, but still not terribly bad. It would clean up pretty decently well, but uh, a regret that I do have a specifically about that hood. By the way, guys, for some of you guys who maybe aren't familiar with the history of this truck, I've had this truck for probably about five or six years. Truck has 203,000 miles on it, so still doesn't clean up too, too bad for a truck with that many miles that year range. So the last, maybe the last thing, unless I find something else, the last thing that um, I really could do maybe with something a little bit different is this is a six speed manual truck has a g56 manual transmission and it has 373 gears in it uh it tows 
awesome. I love it, except for when you're on the highway unloaded, and if you just so happen to be somewhere where the speed limit is over 80, which may not be everywhere, I'm not saying that I go over that, but when you want to go like 75, 80, the RPMs on this thing is up around like 2,500. They're up pretty high. I could use with a little bit lower, maybe, I know the newer fourth gens come with 342s, uh, but again, I don't know if I would essentially give that up for the towing side of that. On the low end, it's really nice. You don't really, well, you're not supposed to tow maybe over 70, 75, 80. I'm not saying I do that either, but um, this thing tows amazing. I, and there's a lot of things that I love about this truck. And I think in another video, um, maybe sometime soon, I'll go over, you know, my thoughts and feelings on life after 200,000 miles, my plan for this truck, what we're gonna do maybe to keep it, maybe we're gonna sell it, I'm not really sure. But the gear set, um, Again, it's just a little bit annoying at higher speeds. That's about it. And again, uh, this isn't like me earmuffs bitching about this truck at all. It's just a couple of the nitpick little things. Getting back to my little imperfection thing, the headlights thus far, and these are eBay headlights and blacked out fog lights. Um, they're really not, these. this set is really not all that bad. The, the clear coat hasn't started peeling at all yet. Um, they're actually doing very well. Now these on the other hand, these and these headlights and fog lights are actually pretty new. If you guys can see in there, they're just a little layer of tint film and the tint film has all come separated from the back there so I think what Mark actually did on his truck is he took a set of stock ones and he actually cleared like smoke cleared over them instead of using like a like a film on the inside so we might actually have to order up a set of uh, factory ones have him smoke them out for us uh, the headlights seem to be doing pretty well I think Mark told me that I really should have him clear coat these before I put them on all right guys we are coming to the number one thing that I always almost forgot about and this happened just the other day and I am still very very upset at myself for it um, it was totally avoidable and I'm not saying that I did or did not have my phone in my hand while going around a turn that had a curb on it you guys can see where this is going it happens to the best of us I've had these wheels on here forever I haven't messed up one of them and I was, you know, it was just one of those days I had my phone in my hand, I was going around a turn that I've been around a million times, and yeah, we weren't paying attention, and we, we, we might have, we might have done a little damage here. Now, have no fear, our man Mark said that he can fix that up no problem, he can match the, uh, the paint, these are actually powder coated, but he said he could match this up, not a problem, you'll never be able to tell, so I have complete faith in him, he's never let me down before, but... I cannot believe after all this time that we did do that. I am, uh. So when stuff like that happens, I don't really essentially get mad that it happened. I get more mad at myself, uh, really because it is such an avoidable thing if I was just paying a little bit more attention. I get mad at myself because I'm like, that was the dumbest thing ever and it was completely, completely unavoidable. Um, accidents that happen, like say somebody smashed into me or whatever, like it happens, there's nothing I could do about it, but when, it, when it's in my control and it's just so stupid, uh, I get I get kind of upset at myself. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I think that that kind of irons out all the little things that kind of annoy me on my truck. I'd actually really like to hear from you guys. Let me know if you guys what you guys drive, what you guys own, and some of the things that really annoy you. Now I've kind of taken care of a lot of the other little things like miscellaneous little stuff. I've kind of put aftermarket stuff to like the stereo used to annoy me. Um, we got all new stereo with the subwoofer, all new speakers, tweeters, um, just stuff like that. Now aftermarket takes care of a lot of the stuff that you guys uh, might find annoying. So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys get annoyed at at your own vehicle. And like I said guys in the beginning of this video, we will be back to the garage work, the wrenching, the racing. That is all coming very, very soon. Uh, my number one one priority right now is taking care of Allie, making sure that she is good, I am home, and that I'm there for whatever she needs. So um, that is number one priority. We will be back to the shop stuff very, very soon. I probably, I will keep you guys updated the best that I can. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you might want to do that. <laughs> 
uh, but I will keep you guys updated on the baby situation. It should be any second now. I keep saying any second, any day, but uh, every time that we talk, you know, it's just another couple seconds closer. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me for this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button before you leave. Guys, head over to wrenchworks.com. Check out all the stuff we got going on over there. Um, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys tomorrow, maybe the next day. Uh, I'll see you.